today we're checking out the Tesla tow package. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm JQ Louise and today we'll be checking out the tow package on the Tesla Model Y. But before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe. If you're interested in Tesla content, we own a 2021 Tesla Model Y and we're sharing our whole Tesla ownership experience everything from delivery day to installing accessories and going on road trips. We're showing you guys everything. So definitely check out our links below. But for now, let's check out the Tesla tow package. So today we're checking out the Tesla tow hitch on a 2021 Tesla Model Y. So it is not ours, it is actually a family member's. So this is a long range 2021 Tesla Model Y and they actually delivered the car with the tow package. So they paid an additional thousand dollars when they delivered their car and everything was already installed. So if you wanted to order a tow hitch after you've already bought your car, it's 1200. So we're gonna see, we've been debating this if we should get it installed on our car so we're gonna check it out today, see what it's like, and then you know, possibly decide if we want it on our car. So let's go check it out. We'll show you first, you know, how to actually install the tow hitch adapter and the ball, and then how to use it and what it's like driving around in tow mode. So obviously the tow hitch is located in the back of the car. So this is actually a whole different um, rear bumper assembly underneath. We'll show you how we've removed this plastic cover and we had to install this tow hitch adapter and a two inch ball for this trailer. So we'll show you that whole process, but this is what it looks like when you have a trailer attached to a Tesla Model Y. Check the description below for all the things we needed to get our trailer hitch up and running. All right, so we picked up, this is a two inch trailer hitch. This is, you wanna make sure you get one with a three quarter inch rise, cause it's going to go like this. It's not going to go like this. Manual says specifically has to be a three quarter inch rise. The maximum distance from the pin to the ball is 8.5 inches. This is a Kurt 45030 hitch. This is 7.5, so this is within spec three quarter inch rise. If you notice, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten on the ball. We're gonna lock this down. The ball, this particular one has two um, flat pieces right here. So we can actually get this in the vise and we're going to be able to use that as a way to hold it right like that. So that's now gonna hold that when we tighten it down. So you can use the plastic trim tool Use a microfiber or the screwdriver. Just get in there. There's several clips on the top, and then as it comes down, clips on the side, and then there's some clips on the bottom that reach in on this lip. So these two go right here, and the rest are just little tabs on the side that hold them. Just be careful not to bend them. This is your seven pin connector. We have an adapter. I'm not sure if Tesla is supposed to provide one. I don't see anything else up in here. And you have your two eye hooks for the chains. So we're gonna put this in, ball up, slide it in right there. This is a 5 8 um, inch pin. Slide it in. There you go. Right there. Cool. As we mentioned, this is not our Tesla, but it is a Tesla Model Y, just like ours. So we went to U-Haul to pick up a trailer to really give trailer mode and the trailer hitch a real test. So we picked one up and then we went to where we normally film. So you can see the trailer mode icon did pop up. Okay, so as you can see, the whole thing is set up, but it wasn't always like this. This morning when we picked up the car, the plate was on it, the face plate was on it and nothing was connected. So to remove it, we use those plastic pry tools or a screwdriver with a microfiber cloth, just something to prevent this from getting too scraped up. Um, once you pull off the cover, you'll notice the trailer hitch. The adapter, nothing else would be there. 
So what you do need is you need a hitch adapter. So this is a Kurt 45030 adapter. It meets the Tesla specifications. It's a two inch by two inch um, square adapter. And then it fits a variety of balls. We have a two inch ball on here right now. It's a one inch center. Um, and the length is 7.5 between the pin and the center of the ball. Um, Tesla says between anything um, up to 8.5, um, it seems like 7.5 or 8.5 is really what you need. Um, and the key thing is it's a three quarter inch rise. So you don't want this to be low. You want this to be nice and level. As you can see, this trailer is sitting nice and level. This is the appropriate ride height. So we'll show how to assemble the hitch and the ball together. But once you have that, what you do is you just slide it in. Um, and then we have a 5 8 pin um, with a cotter pin. So we show how to do that as well. All right, so once you have the hitch adapter in and you have your pin and your locking pin so that it can't come out, this can't come out. Okay, so once you have the hitch adapter in and you have the ball on and you're ready to go, the next thing you're gonna need to do is get an adapter for the lights, depending on what type of trailer you have. This trailer from U-Haul has a four pin connector and this is a seven pin to four pin connector that we picked up online. And so you just push these two together makes a nice good connection and you can see that it's going to indicate what lights are on and there's only one way you can put it there's a slot right here a little part that sticks out so you pull down that which reveals the seven pin and this part is going to face down into that slot so we're going to slide that in until it clicks then we're going to unlock the car and See if it lights up. So as you can see, when we, when I click that, these two lights lit up. So it's lighting up the turn signal. So let's see what happens at the back of the trailer. There you go. All right, so now we're gonna test the lights to make sure that we're okay. All right, so next we're gonna talk about how to connect the trailer to the tow hitch. So I've towed boats and a variety of trailers all my life but you know this might be your first time doing it and that's totally okay the people at u-haul are very good at helping you connect your trailer so they make sure that you're all set before you even leave the parking lot make sure they test your lights they'll make sure that it's on correctly the u-haul trailers are kind of interesting because this is different than a traditional um trailer this uh this hitch actually can fit a variety of balls i think they call it like the easy um hitch Pretty much what happens is you keep twisting until this is really tight and it locks and that way um you know i think it, it's made to fit a variety of uh balls um so they'll help you lock that down the next thing is you want to make sure you have enough um play with the with the lights you don't want this to be super tight but at the same time you can wrap it around a couple so that it's not not too low um you want to make sure that you're good there the chains, again, this is a rental trailer, so they make these chains super long because they're not sure whether it's gonna be connected to a truck or you know a small car. Um, so what they actually did is you need to twist this a couple times so it tightens up some of the slack. And the key is you wanna crisscross your chains and it goes up and under and you hook it in so the hook's facing down. And then these actually have a um, plate that covers it um, just to prevent it from um, popping off. So. Um, the chains are meant to be, in case this comes off, you can somewhat control it and the trailer doesn't either go, you know, way behind you or, you know, if it does fall down, it somewhat is controlled um, and hopefully you can pull over safely. All right, so there's some safety things you want to know before you actually go towing. So you've got it attached um, and you've got the car ready. There's actually several things on page 76 and 77 of the Tesla Watt Model Y owner's manual that you want to take note. One is you want to make sure you have the proper tire pressure in your tires. So they actually recommend elevating the tire pressure to 42 PSI. Um, so you want to make sure the tires are all set. The second thing is you want to look at the car and you want to make sure that the car is perfectly level. You don't want to have it weighed down in a super awkward way because that will affect the dynamics of when you're towing the trailer. You don't want the trailer to sway or to be uncontrollable. So you want the car to be perfectly level and you want to observe how the trailer looks on the car. Does the car and the trailer together still look level? Um, again, it's very key on how you pack the trailer. You don't want everything all up front so it's all on the tongue and there's nothing in the back. You want the, the trailer to be nice and centered 
and you know on the trailer this one it says you know 60 percent slightly forward 40 percent in the back the trailer depending on what rental you have or your own trailer will see you know where the optimal weight is for the certain length and the axle the main thing is you want to look at how it is with the car make sure the car doesn't look weird on balance um and that it looks normal then you don't want the chains dragging on the ground and have the car completely bottomed out because there are certain maximums that the car can actually tow and the amount of weight that can be on the hitch the other thing to note is that if you intend to use the trailer hitch as an accessory like a bike rack or a ski rack or something like that that is rated for 160 pounds and that 160 pounds includes the attachment itself so i believe the manual says if the attachment weighs 40 pounds for example you'd have 120 pounds left and if you're carrying two bikes that'd be 60 pounds per bike so when towing, like we said, you want to increase the PSI to a certain level. When you have the 19 inch wheels, according to the man, you want this to be 42 PSI. They also recommend to measure that on a cold tire. It says even driving a mile could affect the PSI in the tires as they heat up. So you want to make sure that before you set off, when the tires are cold, you measure them and you increase them to 42 PSI so that it can safely take uh, the towing. So when towing above 1,650 pounds, Tesla actually recommends you have a separate brake control module for your trailer. Most of the large trailers, like if we were hauling a camper van, uh, would actually have its separate brakes, like trailer brakes. And there's actually an accessory you can get from Tesla. Or it's, it's a harness that's right up in here in this panel that will control the brake module. So we don't have that installed. We don't plan on towing anything that large right away. But supposedly you can message Tesla service and they can assist you in making sure you get that harness um, properly installed and then you can get that brake module because pretty much what they'll do is they'll communicate to the trailer, um, you know, wirelessly when it needs to apply the trailer brakes when the car is braking because essentially the car, even though it can stop the trailer, this stopping distances are significantly in increased when you're towing a trailer. Okay, so I'm gonna go unplug the lights and replug them back in, but notice how we have this little icon right here. This is tow mode. Okay, so there are three different colors that tow mode could be. This is good. This means trailer mode is active. There, if this was yellow, it'd mean that Model Y has detected a connection for the lights, but then the trailer mode is disabled, and it's likely that you're carrying an accessory that has been connected. So if you had a bike rack or something like that that didn't have lights, it might know that something's connected, but there's no you know, lights that you need to have on it. And then if this was red, it would, say, it would know that the Model Y has detected a faulty electrical connection. Some or all the lights may not be functioning and it might disable trailer mode. So trailer mode is always active when you're towing a trailer. Whenever you connect the lights to the system, that's when the Model Y automatically engages trailer mode. If it doesn't automatically engage, there's a problem. Um, and also you can actually go to controls. So if we go to controls and then driving, and then you go down here, you can actually always enable trailer mode before towing a trailer. Trailer mode disables or restricts certain vehicle functions. Please refer to the owner's manual. So you can actually turn off trailer mode. And as you can see, it's now yellow. So pretty much what we've told it is that there's no need for it to be in trailer mode, but the car still is acknowledging something is plugged in. Okay, so as you can see, trailer mode is now enabled. All right, so it's really nice because you have these side cameras to check your blind spot. You can see pretty far back. It's interesting because both in these side cameras and the inside mirrors, you can't really see this trailer. It's relatively low. It's rather long. So you wanna make sure that there's really no cars around you. And as we can show in some of the driving footage, you wanna make sure you have tons of space, you're aware of where you are, and that you make sure you leave plenty of braking distance because braking distance is increased with having such a large trailer and if you're heavily loaded up. All right, so as we already mentioned, if you've already bought your Tesla and you want to add the tow package afterwards, it's $1,200, but the good news is that includes install and the parts. So it's very similar to the Homelink install, where for that one, you just pay $300 for the parts, but it also includes the install. So for this one, you have to choose a service center. They can't do it roadside um, because it is a pretty big job. So, you know, it's $1,200, but that includes all of the fees. So there are aftermarket, you know, tow packages that I've seen people buy online. I personally would never do that because 
when you buy the Tesla tow package, it does include all of the software integration so that you can, you know, it shows up on the screen. You can check the, you know, the status of your trailer and the car just knows it's towing something. I just wouldn't be comfortable with one of the aftermarket solutions because it doesn't include any of that software integration. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun seeing the Tesla Model Y tow package and see what the car is like in trailer mode. Definitely check this out. We're still considering it for our car. It's definitely a very convenient add-on to have on your car if you plan on towing, you know, even once or twice in the future. It could be very helpful. If you've already bought your Tesla, it's only $1,200 to add on. If you're still going to order your Tesla, it's $1,000 at the time of ordering as of right now. So definitely check that out, but be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe if you're interested in Tesla content. We do lots of fun road trips, install videos, and other fun things. So definitely check out our links below.